St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Good day, everyone, and welcome. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from an anonymous donor from Toronto, Ontario, for the intentions of her family and friends and in thanksgiving. On behalf of all the faithful who are gathered here for the celebration of this Mass, and for all those across Canada who are joining us, we want to thank our donor from Toronto, Ontario, very much for your generosity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Barnabas, Coming together as God's family, we seek mercy and forgiveness for our sins. Please join with me. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask Blessed Mary Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on all of us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, our Father, you filled St. Barnabas with faith and the Holy Spirit and sent him to convert the nations Help us to proclaim the gospel by word and deed. We ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Antioch, a great number of the Hellenists became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For Barnabas was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. Now in the church at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manen, a mem member of the court of Herod the ruler, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. The word of the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have won him victory. The Lord has revealed to the has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. 
he has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. The Until the end of the world.